Hello dear students, welcome to Economics MCQ series part 4. In the previous three videos, I have covered two chapters and as requested by many of you to club chapters and prepare MCQ questions, I have prepared MCQ questions from chapter 3, 4 and 5 in this video. And though this is not exhaustive questions, in addition to these questions, you can read the text thoroughly to score well in the examination. So if you find this uh, these questions useful please like it and share it with your friends so let us start quickly with the first question the concept of mixed economy relates to the existence of rural sector and urban, urban sector the coexistence of public sector and private sector coexistence of small scale sector and large scale sector coexistence of service sector and manufacturing sector correct answer is this in mixed economy public sector that is government sector and private sector coexist next question economic liberalization in the in india started with substantial changes in industrial licensing policy the convertibility of indian rupee doing away with the procedural formalities for foreign direct investment and the last one significant reduction in tax rate the correct answer is substantial changes in industrial licensing policy the first and foremost important change was in de-licensing that is change in the licensing procedure then SIDBI stands for small industrial development banker institute small industries design bank of india small innovation development bank of india small industries development bank of india so this is the correct answer next question the focus of the second five-year plan was agriculture industrialization social sector development foreign direct investment the emphasis of second five-year plan was on industrialization next question ndc that is national development council was set up in 1955 1952 1965 1957 correct answer is 1952 industrialization helps economic development through increase in income and better standard of living increase in international trade increasing employment opportunities all of the above in fact industrialization helps economic development through all of these so last one is the correct answer msme stands for micro small and medium enterprises medium small and micro enterprises micro small and mixed enterprises none of the above the correct answer is micro small and medium enterprises then msme Defined under which act? MSMED Act 2006, MSME Act 2001, MSME Act 1999, MSME Act 2004. In fact, 2006 MSME Micro Small Medium Enterprises Development Act was enacted in 2006. Next, in production sector, a micro enterprise is an enterprise where investment in plant and machinery does not exceed how much rupees 10 lakh rupees 15 lakh rupees 20 lakh rupees 25 lakh in a production unit of micro enterprises the investment limit is up to 25 lakh so last one is the correct answer 25 lakh next question in production sector a small enterprise after micro enterprise here the question is a small enterprise is an enterprise where the investment in plant and machinery is more than 25 lakh but does not exceed how much rupees 2 crore rupees 3 crore rupees 5 crore rupees 10 crore it is rupees 5 crore it should not increase rupees 5 crore next which among the following does not belong to india's major large scale industries cotton textile industry iron and steel industry jute industry khadi and village industry correct answer is khadi and village industry is not large scale industry above three are large scale industry so correct answer is khadi and village industries kvi next SSI stands for small sick industries, small scale industries, standard scale institute, 
small standard industries? The correct answer is small scale industries. Which among the following is not the problem of small scale enterprises in India? Inadequacy of finance, difficulties in marketing, shortages of raw material, shortage of labor. In fact, the correct answer is shortage of labor. There is no shortage of labor, but these three are the problems of small scale industry. There is one more that is a technical obsoleteness, old technology which are used by small enterprises. So this is the correct answer. Which one is not the objectives of new industrial policy 1991? Self-reliance and support to small scale sector, develop indigenous technology, remove regulatory system, none of the above. In fact, the correct answer is none of the above because all above are the objectives, were the objectives of new industrial policy 1991. Next question, which one of the following is the oldest oil refinery in India? Digboy refinery, Koili, Haldia, Mathura. The oldest refinery in India, oil refinery is at Digboy, Assam. Next one, which kind of power accounts for the largest share of power and generation of India, hydroelectricity, thermal electricity, nuclear, solar electricity. Correct answer is thermal electricity accounts for almost 65% of power generation in India. Next question, social infrastructure does not include irrigation, health, education, hygiene. Correct answer is irrigation. Social infrastructure includes health, education and hygiene. So irrigation is not included. Next question. Economic infrastructure includes irrigation and transport, energy and science technology, communication and banking finance services, all of the above. Correct answer is all of the above. All these six are economic infrastructure. Next, the responsibility of providing infrastructure services was with the government for the following reasons. Heavy capital investment, long gestation period, externalities and high risk and low return on investment. And the last answer is all of the above. Correct answer is all of the above. Because of these reasons, the responsibility was with the government to provide infrastructure. Next question. All the support structures which facilitates development of a country constitute its construction, manufacturing, infrastructure, none of the above. In fact, it is infrastructure which facilitates development. Next, National Rural Health Mission was launched in which year? 2006, 2005, 2000, 2009. Correct answer is 2005 it was launched in 2005 next question what is the world ranking of indian railway network indian railway network is ranked third first one is of usa and second is china in railway network in the world next question the concept of human development was given by whom which economist has given the concept of human development simon kuznet abhijit banerji mahbubul haq amartya sen the concept was given mahbubul haq in the uh, United Nations Development Program. Next, which are four essential component of human development? Employment, equity, empowerment and productivity. Equity, sustainability, productivity and empowerment. Employment, equality, empowerment, productivity. Employment, equity, equality and productivity. The correct answer is equity, sustainability, productivity and empowerment. These are the four component of human development according to Mahbubul Haq. Next question. Human development is a process of widening people's choices and raising the level of well-being achieved. Widening people's creativity and raising level of well-being. Widening people's productivity and raising lifestyle. None of the above. Correct answer is widening people's choices and raising level of well-being human development is a process of widening people's choices and raising level of well-being achieved hdi was 
published by UNDP United Nations Development Program in Human Development Report for the first time in the year 91, 1990, 1993-95. It was for the first time published in 1990. Next question, Human Development Index is a composite index of three social indicators, life expectancy, adult literacy and years of schooling and real GDP per capita, life expectancy, poverty level and real GDP per capita equality adult literacy and years of schooling and real gdp per capita none of the above correct answer is hdi is a composite index of three social indicators life expectancy indicating the longevity of life adult literacy and years of schooling achievement in knowledge real gdp per capita showing the standard of living so first one is the correct answer next gender related development index and gender empowerment measure was introduced by UNDP in the year 2000, 1995, 2005, 1998. It was introduced in 1995. Next question, gender empowerment measure is a measure of inequalities between men and women opportunities in the areas of political participation and decision making, economic participation and decision making, power over economic resources, all of the above. The correct answer is this GEM measures inequalities in all these three areas between men and women. Next question, which country is top in HDI in 2019? Switzerland, Ireland, Germany, Norway. Norway was on top in 2019. Switzerland second, Ireland third, Germany fourth. So Norway was on top, first position. Next question, the concept of human poverty index was introduced by HDR in which year? 95, 98, 97, 2001. The concept of human poverty index was introduced in 1997. Next question, which Indian state is top in HDI rank? Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Punjab. The correct answer is Kerala. Kerala was on top according to 2018 HDI ranking whereas Maharashtra 15th, Tamil Nadu 11th and Punjab 9th. So these were some of the questions which I have selected from chapter number 3, 4 and 5. So next chapters 6, 7, 8 I will be bringing another video. So please do subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos and MCQ series. Thank you. Thanks for watching.